Hey everybody, happy Monday. I'm gonna wait just a few minutes for everybody to hop on, not long, cause I know still a lot of people at work, but um, before I have to go pick up the boys, I wanted to hop on here and explain to you guys all of this keto talk. It's really not as complicated as it was in my head when I first started hearing about um, the keto way of eating, the keto supplements, the macros, and just all this crazy stuff. So, um, let me answer this message real quick, and then we're going to go over all that. This is my friend from Facebook in Ireland who's about to get started as part of the team. I'm so excited. All right. So, as I'm going, if anyone has any specific questions, feel free to ask. Um, I don't like getting on here and giving a lecture. I like to have a conversation with you guys. So, feel free to ask your questions. Okay. So, you can see this video because you're part of our Work It two-week weight loss adventure. So, um, I want to start by saying that not everybody that's doing this two-week weight loss adventure is doing it in a keto way. Some of you guys are using our uh, meal replacement shake like I used when I lost my first 30 pounds and our greens that, that I used. Some of you are using our Thermofit or our Fat Fighters. A lot of you are starting with a cleanse. Um, what else is there? Uh, seems like I'm missing some stuff. But there are some amazing keto products out there. And that's what I'm doing this time just because I wanted to see what it could do for my body. So if you've thought about keto, maybe you're not doing keto yet. Or if you just want to know what all the hype is about. That's what this video is about. So if you're not doing keto as part of this challenge, you're still going to do amazing. It's all about choosing what's right for you. And um, if the shake and the greens are right for you, stick with that. Thermofit Fat Fighters Greens, stick with that. Um, but here's, here is the deal on keto. Okay, so keto is short for ketosis. Ketosis is the the name of the process that our body goes into when it burns fat as energy. So how exciting is that? Like burning fat as energy. That's a good thing, right? So um, the thing is, though, most people's bodies never get into ketosis. Or if they do, it's at night while they sleep because they're not eating food. And they get out of it right when they eat their biscuits in the morning. <laughs> because what happens is... Our bodies can have, our bodies can run off of sugar and carbs because when we eat carbs, carbs break down into sugar in our body. So our, bar, our bodies can, the energy that our bodies need to run um, can be carbs and sugar or it can be ketones. Well, yeah, it can be fat. When fat is broken down to, to make an energy source for our body, it produces ketones. So... Would you rather your body run off the carbs and the sugar that you're putting in your mouth as you're feeding them to yourself? Or would you rather your body run off the fat that you've already stored in your body? So that's what ketosis is about. So when you, our body can't easily swap back and forth to using carbs and sugar fat, carbs and sugar fat, carbs and sugar fat. So if you're putting carbs and sugar into your body and you're also putting fat into your body most of the time that fat is not getting burned as energy and it's just getting stored in our thighs or our tummy or our neck or our arms or wherever because it's easier for your body to use carbs and sugar as an energy source so if carbs and sugar are readily available that's where your got your body is going to reach for first and when all the carbs and sugar are gone after a few days your body will swap over to using fat as its energy source now think about um, using, think about when you use carbs and sugar as your main energy source. Think of like the different types of cars and the different types of gasoline so that, that we fuel our cars with. So a diesel uses diesel fuel and diesel fuel doesn't burn very clean. You know, it puts all this pollution in the air and all that stuff. So when your body runs off of ketones from the fat cells that it's burning, 
it burns much, much cleaner. It would be like an electric car, very low emissions, nothing harmful but being put into the atmosphere. And that's the same thing that happens here. So when we put carbs and sugar in our body, we burn carbs and sugar for energy and it makes us um, have energy for a second and then we crash because of all the, the, the diesel fuel, if you will, that we are burning, all the, the, the emissions, I guess, that it's making. But then when you run off of ketones, the emissions that it's making are going to help you to focus. They're going to give you more energy. They even enhance your mood. So uh, think about your little kids. When you give them tons of sugar, like by the, I, I had, my kid's teacher sent a um, letter home basically saying, please don't send your kids for their morning snack anything that's really sugary because by the afternoon they crash and I can't handle a room full of 25 kids that have been burning sugar as energy basically is what she was saying so with the ketones though your body doesn't do that okay so you can get into ketosis without any of our supplements you can uh, live a keto lifestyle and you can lose a lot of weight but I like Reese cups. I like bread every now and then. Now I will tell you, I haven't had sugar or carbs in two days and I'm totally fine with that. But tonight my mom asked me over to eat dinner and uh, she always eats, she always cooks so, so good. And I don't have to feel guilty if I eat a roll or whatever dessert I know she's going to prepare because in the morning I'll drink my ketones and it's going to say, Hey buddy, stop burning that, um, stop burning those carbs and sugar as full, uh, fuel. You need to use your body's fat. So that's what the ketones are all about. So what is a key, what does a keto diet look like? So you're gonna have 70%, and this blew my mind at first. I was like, this cannot be healthy because I've believed the myth that all the uh, diet food in industries out there have told us for so many years. There's been research to show that fats are actually healthy for you. So in a keto diet, you want 70% of your food intake to be from fats. Now, you don't want to just sit and drink a bottle of, you know, cooking oil. You want to drink healthy fats, eat healthy fats. Um, but, you know, it's even, it's even okay for you to have some sour cream or some cream cheese and butter and all that every now and then because uh, those are not as bad as everybody wants you to think they are. If you're having carbs and sugar and all of that, then yes, the fat gets stored because you're not burning it as energy. But if you're taking your carbs, most of your carbs and sugar away, then that your body is using that fat for fuel and it's burning clean to give you more focus, more energy. It's burning the fat in your body. All right, so let's see, where did I leave off? Is this making sense? Is this clarifying any of this for you guys at all? So we actually have four keto products. Two of them you really don't need to use if you're not eating a keto type diet. So um, I just drank this. Well, I'll tell you, this morning I had these little pea strips. We don't sell these, but I love them because they let me know what my body is doing. So just throughout the day when I'm wondering, you just pee on one of these things and it turns a color. I got these off of Amazon. It was like less than five bucks. And so this morning, this shows you that this measures the ketones in your urine. So if you got that, you would have absolutely no ketones at all. This would be trace amounts. This would be very low, so you might be burning a little bit of fat for energy. Moderate, high, and very high. So this, to me, like is a little bit scary. I don't want to get into ketoacidosis. So I want to make sure that I'm not super duper high. So this morning when I woke up, I was at moderate. So there was really no need for me to take my ketones because my ketones are to help me get into ketosis or to get into a further state of ketosis. But I was already pretty happy where I was. I was at moderate. So um, I, didn't, I didn't take my ketones then. Um, so I didn't, I haven't had carbs or sugar all day long, but, um, this all, this stuff also gives you energy. So 
after lunch I had one of these. These are Keto Go. Again, this is putting your body into a into ketosis or into a deeper state of ketosis and it also gives you energy. A lot of people are doing these as a pre-workout. So if you're not gonna follow a keto kind of sort of way of eating, these two products are not for you. But even if you're not doing a keto diet, you're still going to love our keto coffee because this is not say this is not putting your body into ketosis the keto coffee and the keto creamer can be used by anyone and they are um, amazing because even if you're not following a keto diet you still need all the healthy fats that come into this so you have the mct oil grass-fed butter and collagen and we all need that anyways even if we're not trying to lose weight by eating a keto diet. If you love your coffee already and you're not willing to swap, we have the keto creamer that you can add to your coffee and that just turns your coffee into keto coffee. So that these two products are for anyone. Anyone can benefit from these. I used this as a meal replacement even before I was doing keto and absolutely loved it and absolutely lost weight on it. When I started following a keto diet and introduced these products, I lost even more. Does that make sense? Do y'all have any questions? Hey, I need to add, if any of you guys live within driving distance of Coleman, tomorrow night at the Coleman Civic Center, we are doing a, we are throwing a fit is what it's called. It's basically a um, big party where you can come and listen about the products and sample the products for free. We're going to have a fit bar, which to me sounds like, um, like a healthy meal replacement bar or something, but actually what it is, is a bar. Think about a bar with, you know, vodka and all that, but no vodka. It's all going to be just our products that you can try for free. And we'll have a lot of, a lot of stuff out there. So keto is awesome. And the food is delicious, y'all. Like it's crazy to me. Like it made me so sad when I first started doing keto and really trying to, not eat sweets. It made me sad how hard it was to not eat sweets, y'all. It is so easy to get addicted to, to, to sweets and carbs. Also, if you're somebody who, I learned this a couple days ago, if you're somebody who swells, like I'm real, uh, real easy to retain water. Like I hold my hands together like this and I don't even recognize whose hand I'm holding because my hands are swollen or I'll hold it in my cheeks. But since I've been doing that, I've noticed uh, uh, the keto diet. I've noticed a huge reduction in that. And it's because carbs retain water. So um, that's exciting. But I forgot what I was saying. I got off on a tangent. Oh, the food. The food is so awesome. Um, let me answer this lady. Sorry. It's not hard and it's not scary. Um, I made a crock pot chicken, Mexican chicken soup. Best soup I have ever had. So, 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 so good. I've made, um, I love to do like wraps in a tortilla, but I found out the other day that those wraps that I was using had 37 carbs each. So I found a recipe, a recipe for homemade keto tortillas and they were, I thought it was going to make a huge mess, but it was actually super fun and super easy and didn't take that long either. And they're just as good as the regular ones. Let's see what else have I made. I do an avocado, like a baked potato, put an egg in it, which I don't put eggs in my potatoes. So I guess it's really not like a baked potato, but it kind of is. It looks like one. You just cut it open and scrape it up, put an egg in there. You can top it with cheese and bacon. All of that is on a keto diet. Um, so 70% of your diet is fat. Let me get my little, hang on just a second. I got it right here on my countertop. No, no. 70% of your uh, diet is fat. About 25% of it. 
<laughs> I mean, 20% of it is protein and about 5% of it is carbs. And used to, when the keto diet first came out years ago, they used to say no carbs, but then that was eliminating a lot of vegetables that you still need. And it's important for you to um, get those green leafy vegetables when you're on a keto diet and not just fat, 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 because fat is metabolized in the liver and those green leafy vegetables make sure that your liver stays good and cleansed and functioning properly. But I have a breakdown sheet somewhere. It's not important at this point, but it breaks down all of that that I just said. It breaks down what foods are good to eat on a keto diet. And oh, another really great thing to do anyways, even if you're not doing keto, is try to eat your supper earlier and don't snack afterwards because if you go so your body wants to naturally go into that ketosis when you're asleep because what happens is you know if we eat supper at five o'clock six o'clock then by bedtime hopefully we've burned off all those carbs and sugar and then while we sleep at least we can get into a little bit of that fat burning mode but if you're having supper uh, let's just say you're having supper at six, but you're snacking until bedtime. It's probably going to have carbs or sugar in it. And then you never get into that ketosis. So it's great. I try to eat my supper at five or six o'clock and don't snack afterwards. So you're basically fasting for like, let's see. If I, if I finish my supper at six, be seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, one, two, three, four o'clock in the morning if you eat breakfast at four o'clock that's 10 hours right there that you're fasting where your body can be in that ketosis so four five six seven eight nine if you don't eat breakfast till nine that's 15 hours where you're fasting and, and they call that intermittent fasting when you have uh, all of your food within a shorter uh, span during your day and then don't eat after supper so that has worked really well for me while I've been on keto I have lost a half of a half of a pound every single day so I, I'm super pumped about it and um, all but two of those days I've cheated a little bit and then just put drank one of these to put my body back into ketosis but I'm trying really trying not to cheat because I feel so much better when I don't put those sugars in my body and I'm not trying to say that it's easy to do a keto lifestyle but once you start doing it for a few days I think you'll be like wow I didn't know I was supposed to feel this good so if you want any recipes any if you want the breakdown of all the stuff that I just told you um, I have a list of keto safe or keto approved um, foods and stuff to stay away from what else do I have anything anything any questions that you have I'm here for you so who else is doing keto for their adventure I'm doing it I've already started mine I couldn't wait but what I did a two week I did my befores and I weighed myself and then I would do it again in two weeks and by the time everyone else starts on March the first I'm gonna be doing my second round of two weeks and so I'm going to incorporate the workouts in with that and so instead of a half a pound a day who knows what's gonna happen maybe it'll be a pound a day I don't know that I want to lose a whole lot more but um, I'm excited to get healthy <laughs>